I'm Josh and I want to be a rapper and I think that these days in order to be mainstream in order to be good you have to have a level of ignorance and just know that what you're making isn't going to connect to anyone on any level you're just making it for people to dance to and people to take drugs to and things like that but there is still there's some rappers who do make lyrical and conscious rap like say like Lil Pump who just repeats the same words over and over again. My favourite rapper, I've got a list. Nas, J. Cole, Lauren Hill, Capital Steez, Joey Badass, Hopsin and Vic Mensa. Because their music just connects to me. And of course if you listen to people like J. Cole who got inspired by Nas and and J. Cole himself who just his words just connect to me on another level. I, and also I think in rap today a lot of the subject matter is mental health because there is growing mental health issues in society. So people like Logic, people like X, people like Louis Vert, everyone's talking about their mental health issues, their their struggles and how people can relate. And because it is growing a lot, a lot of people are relating to it and they're growing bigger fan bases. And because they're doing things like the mumble rap, like the auto tune, like Louis Vert does, as they're growing a fan base, this new rap movement's moving in as well, and ly lyrical and poetic rap and storytelling is moving out because they're not relating to the new generation. There's certain people like, say J. Cole, who is one of my favourites. I just feel like the way that he came up, he was born in Germany, moved to Fayetteville, which is rough areas. He had to grind, and he still gets a lot of flack and a lot of haters because they say that he's not the type of rapper, say like Kendrick Lamar, who's just heavy hitting, has a loud flow, and things like that. But I think there's a lot of branches to rap these days as well. Like say someone like Chance the Rapper, who he sings, he does gospel, he does everything, but he's still so big. And it's just, again, just raps evolve. I'm sleeping. Yo, Ethan, you know you're my guy, but that nose so big you can find Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rapping against you, let me make a meal. Cheap ass glasses, a two for one deal. Oh, oh. I've seen bars for days. Just like your dad, you better run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ethan, you think you, you can beat me? Are you thick? <coughs> you're like two packs down since your brother toothpick. Rap, the whole thing of rap. Just gone over 40 years, and it's good to see that something like this is still growing. Because just imagine kids in the projects, kids in the hood, kids wherever, trying to grow up without something like rap music to relate to, to connect you. Yeah, my name's Ethan. Um, what I want to be when I'm older, I want to be a producer. Um, the people that inspired me to do that is well, one of the main people is Dr. Dre, because it's just like. If you if people that have watched like straight out of Compton and all of that, you've seen like where he's come from and then like where he is now. It's like he started off like doing all that disco stuff for everyone else and then like now he's got his own like record label and everything. So that's what inspired me to like because he knew where he wanted to be and what he wanted to do. And like where and he's like aimed for it. He's got his goals and he and he just went for them. It's like, even though like, he tried to make a, like, a record label, Death Row Records, I, that's, it, that's just inspired me, because it's like, he's, he's, well, he's one of my main inspirations. SoundCloud Frookston, hashtag free take a make out hill. Um, <laughs> I like X because um, his his music, like his composure between the music he switches between, he switches between um, like slow music and then he switches to his hardcore screamo stuff. Um, and I like his music because it sort of like relates to stuff that's 
happened to me in the past, and I like, I don't know, I, li I like his voice as well. His, he's got like, a, he can switch between like a soft voice and a hard voice, which I like. Um, well, I listen to his music and stuff because it connects to me, and without well, his music, I could be literally pretty much nothing. Like, no one connects me, connects to me the way, and no one like sort of understands me. Even though he doesn't know me, like, no one understands me the way X understands me. That's why, like, the mindset I have in my head. And without him, I'd like I'd be nothing. But like, if he killed himself, like, I don't know what I'd do and shit like that. So. Say my name. All right, my name is Athena, but I'm also known as K Cox. Uh, I started rapping at the age of about eight. Uh, oh. I started getting into music when I was about six or seven. There was always like big music influences around the house and stuff like that. Michael Jackson was like a big part of my childhood growing up. Was a big stem for my music. And I started getting into N Dubs, so it was like Dappy N -dubs, and Skepta, <laughs> and then I started listening to Skepta, JME, and everyone else. And then at about, I started writing my own stuff at about the age like eight, nine, so like just stupid stuff. And then when I was in year seven, I remember it clearly that like it was my third week of year seven. And I made a rap about, you know, bullying because there was this kid that was in year seven and he was like, you know, he used to bully the other kids. It turns out me and him are actually best friends now, but at the start of year seven, I didn't like him. And um, so I wrote a rap about it and I released it onto my Instagram. And from that point on, I just got positive feedback. Of course, you're gonna get hate, but that's just the way it goes, isn't it? If you wanna enter a career like that, you have to take the hate. And then I put my first sap song out onto SoundCloud uh, at the end of year eight. Um, and basically, life circumstances just like led me to a point where I was writing so much and I was writing like the biggest lot of material. And at the end of year eight, I put my first song out on SoundCloud and now, like this stuff was only like recorded, it was literally like a speaker on my phone and that's how I was recording my stuff but I was trying to find a way to get it out there and get people to listen to build that platform up for me and that's what it's all about. <laughs> getting like loads of positive feedback I then posted a um, video of me rapping onto my Instagram um, shortly after my brother passed away last wow. few years ago like a year and a half ago and it was nothing but positive feedback I mean I got feedback from like some of the biggest people like Tizzy you know Tizzy and Br Branzo yeah I got, I got feedback from them I mean I got feedback from Gecko's girlfriend like loads of stuff and I was it just pushed me more and more to write more music um, and then I started dropping more stuff onto my Instagram because that was quite a good platform for me to get my music out on and I've done more songs on SoundCloud and um, we're just trying to build it up I mean I've definitely been told my lyrics are getting stronger my flow's getting better so so I just want to teach I just want to I want love, I want peace. You say, I that's want, what, and that's where hip hop and rap I started mean, from. life can like throw like the worst things at you, believe me, like strong. too much. Like I could, at any point I could have just gone, that's it, I give up. But like at the end of the day, you just like, I'm what my main aim is to teach people and, and get people to understand. Cause I know how hard it is for someone not to understand you. Yeah. I mean, it's the toughest thing if you've been through like extreme life circumstances. There's kids out there that have been worse, been yeah. through worse than me. I know like that. But it feels, yeah, exactly. But different types of music helps a lot because I think Josh is trying to do the same thing as me, and that's change the game completely. Change the lyrics of of, of what everything is. Change the way everyone's being influenced. Change just changing the game completely. That's the and hardest thing to do. It's the hardest. But if you've got an open mind on music like me and Josh do, and you have different. D different outlooks on music and you want to try different things different sounds different beats like i think it could change the game of record yeah. yeah and like obviously one day i want to sell out shows i want to make it bigger obviously. i want to get money and shit but at the end of the day i'm mostly doing it for other people's benefit like for people that they they can't they don't know what to do they can't turn to anyone with their problems so that's what we're trying to preach here yeah yeah let's go
Nike. He's like he's a kind of upcoming rapper lately. He's currently in jail, but he's getting big while he's in jail because of his song "The Race," which is like free take and all that. But I like him because like his beats, his songs are kind of unique and they're not really like anyone else's. Like he uses he's like the basic things to make a beat, and it just sounds good and catchy and all that. Do you look up to him? Um, not that much because he's come to jail and he's like he does like loads of gang stuff and all that. My name's Enver and I want to be a music producer in hip hop. Who inspires me to do music and favourite rappers? Probably Joey Badass, Logic, um, Travis Scott, um, Kid Cudi, Childish Gambino, and Chance the Rapper. And then producers, um, Static Selector, Timberland. Um, that's that's about it off the top of my head. Just their style, they're different to most people. Like Joey Badass, he he brings in uh, old '90s hip hop sound back into now me like to modern day music, and that's rare because most rappers they're just they're mumble rappers, and you know it's just that's what the industry's filled with. And he brings something new. Same with Logic. He brings in a different style and he raps about positive stuff. Travis Scott, he's just hype. He just, the way his performances and concerts, they're crazy. They're not like anyone else's. Kid Cudi and Childish Gambino, they're, they're their own kind as well. They inspire so much people. One of them being Travis Scott, he's inspired by Kid Cudi. Another one, J. Cole and um, Kendrick Lamar, they dropped. J. Cole dropped 2014 Forest Hill Drive and Kendrick dropped To Flip a Butterfly. And those are the type of rappers and albums that, you know, I look at and I think that are amazing. And thankfully they got a lot of attention, but then again, like, Joey Badass, he's not getting as much attention. And he's doing equally as good as them, in my opinion. I haven't got anything wrong with mumble rapping, I just, it's just not my type of sound because, like, they're, they're literally repeating a bunch of words into a mic. And they're getting paid so much more than rappers that are actually good. Like Joey Badass, his latest album, All American Badass. In my opinion, that's one of the best albums of the year, like period, or even one of the best in the past five years. And he's not getting as much credit as I say, Lil Pump. And he just repeats a bunch of words into a microphone. And Joey Badass, he brings a new sound. And it's just, it's not fair. Alright, so basically what I'm about to show you is I have like insomnia, so I can't, I just, I'm just, it's so hard to sleep. So at like 2, 3 a.m. I just write something, and what you're about to hear is what I just wrote like a couple weeks ago about 3 a.m. That's why it's, it goes a bit deep, but it's not that deep. Yeah. Um, and then there's someone else. If the feds can lie, they can cook something trusted. Lots of fucking twists and the devil will be disgusted. Brothers use aggression and weapons to save possessions. Face expressions, high depression, oppression is an obsession. The world ain't gonna change when niggas are done waiting. I cry out to God, but I only hear Satan in a world full of hate and discriminating and making suicide with children. Faking is no mistaken. The world's getting torn apart like issues, devil issues. And all we will resort to is the use of guns and missiles as I lay here in panic, try my best to stay calm. Innocent people getting showered with name calm. Pain and the suffering that I'm feeling internally. Nothing compared to the pain and torture we give ourselves. The hell can we disperse and research but never learn? That's for certain. We're gonna be burning for all of eternity. I pray to God, but I don't think He listens. He gave me a pen and He gave me a vision. I've got to stay alive, got to stay out of prison to survive when it's dark. That's my mission. The people in this world can be so damn deceiving. Words don't hurt, but they're the cause of your bleeding. I know that you feel like you wanna stop breathing. But trust me when I say you are loved and you are needed. I know all the hurt and pain that you've been given, and I don't mean how's life when I say how you're living. It's filled with sadness, corruption, and violence. You struggle to breathe and you scream in silence. This world is so evil, harsh and heartless. My mind's filled with colorful explosions of darkness. Emptiness is crowded. These thoughts are so loud. It's hard to think and even harder to breathe. I have no goal for so much that I wanna achieve. My mind's menacing, meddling, mixing medicine. The darkness is looking back in the silence. It sounds deafening. I'm always threatening the ignorance, unsettling. The streets of all freedom, doing nothing but a skeleton. The truth is turning on my 
how the truth is expressive We fooling into chaos while bills on the riots hold it The devil's taking over this earth and yes he knows it they Don't think twice before they torture or murder us They might just kill a herd of us, nigga they never heard of us My words spill like the blood of innocence and enemies Truth costs nothing but time, strength and energy I'm so sick of these government criminals hurting They see you as a sheep, not an individual person I'm making in this world if that's all I'ma do You've gotta live this life before this life lives you Thank you.